Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dominic and on my channel we talk about AI images and of course stable diffusion. But today I want to give you a little introduction to AI video creation because I think it's a very important topic and everybody who wants to create, for example, an AI influencer needs to create AI videos at one point. And today I want to show you a quick and simple method how you can do that. So stay tuned and let's have a look onto my screen. So the goal of today's video is to take an image like that, for example, of a cheerleader girl and then to turn it into a video of that cheerleader girl, for example, waving with the pom-poms. And this is what we are going to do now. The first step to turn our image into a video is to go to the website klingai.com where we find the tools to make that happen. And you have the possibility to sign up for free, then you get some credit and you can test it out. But of course, you could also sign up for a membership then you get advanced features and also more credits. But I also tested it completely for free and the results are already impressive. So what to do now? You go to the section AI videos and when you come to that screen, you already see what I created. So these are my creations and on the left side, you have a menu. And here you select image to video because we will use an input image and then create our video. And then you have the possibility to upload an image and this is what we're going to do now. So you take your image and then with drag and drop just put it exactly to that area and upload the image you want to animate. Good, now that the image is uploaded we can scroll down a little bit to the prompting window and here we prompt an excited cheerleader dancing and afterwards we just go with the default settings but here it's important to use the professional mode and i also recommend you to just go with five seconds instead of 10 seconds because you get better results you still can create many five seconds videos and then just cut them one after each other and you also get a longer video then you can select how many videos you want to create i go with one and afterwards we have the possibility to specify a negative prompt. And here I recommend you to use the words blur, distortion, disfigurement, low quality, grainy and abstract. With that you get good results and after that you can just hit generate and then we have to wait for our result. I think the result is absolutely fantastic. And in the next step, I show you how you can cut together several of these images to create a longer video. Just one more advice regarding that technique I just showed you. Stick to simple prompts, simple and short prompts and don't do too complicated things. I also recommend you to use simple poses as input images and simple prompts because otherwise it's a little bit too complicated for the AI to animate the photo and the result is not that good. But if you use a simple pose as an input image, for example, a cheerleader girl or a girl like this standing on top of a mountain, it's quite obvious how such an image would be animated and then you get a good result. So let's go over to CapCut and cut everything together. So now we will learn how to put everything together to create a very cool video. We are here in CapCut and the first thing we do is we get our input images. And as you can see, I created several more so that we have three videos in total. Each video has about five, six seconds. And then I just add these videos to my timeline here. And when you then click play, you see, okay, we have our girl now dancing and we can play one video after each other. There's just a tiny detail we have to take into account. And that is, the, as you can see, the first frame of these videos is always the same, our input image. And to make it look a little bit more realistic, we just have to cut off the first half second of each video so that this first frame is disappearing and then it looks a little bit more realistic and not so static. So we cut this off, we zoom in a little bit and then we just cut out this first frame we used as an input. But of course not in the first video because it's okay to see the initial image one time at the beginning. Good. 
Then we have our videos and as you can see now, it already looks quite nice if we just play it and yeah, you can't tell that it's actually separate videos. And to make it even more cool, we have to add some audio sounds. So we go to audio and then here we look for crowd. Let's see what we find because I want to create the impression like the girl is really dancing in a stadium. So I went here to sound effects and then I used the word crowd in the search box and then we will use this sound effect too loud for the crowd and we just place this here and in the end we use the cut tool to cut it off. And now we have the crowd but I show you how it sounds in a minute. Now we just have to add some more detail and I want some rock music playing in the background so let's have a look what we have here in CapCut and I already tested it out the 70s hard rock music it sounds really really cool good then we go also to the end we cut off here the rest and now our video is ready and we can hit play and look what we get <laughs> Alright, I think it's a pretty nice result, of course it's personal preference if you like that sound or if you go with something else and of course whatever input image you used and whatever scene you probably need different sounds. You can also go just with music or just with some noises to give it a more realistic impression. Good, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and if so, please leave me a like or a comment or even a follow if you enjoy content like that on a regular basis. I hope we see each other in the next video. Take care and goodbye.